Hi Gemini, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel and Oracle card readings for the month of April 2018. I want to truly thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends that I do put out there on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you and invite you to go up there and press that button. And it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki session with me. See you soon. So Gemini, we're doing the four weeks of April. And you will be getting a card for the beginning, the middle, and the end of each week. So that's 12 cards all together for the month of April reading. We start our first week off and the very first card you get, Gemini, is a major card. And you got Awakening. And Awakening is all about you looking at things from a different angle. Okay, so things around you uh, that you may have been doing okay you're going to have to tweak the way you've been doing it because obviously it's not working out a hundred percent for you all right so it could have to do with uh you know the way you um you are at work it could have to do with um you know your home life it could have to do with issues you're dealing with with your uh your family members okay so i do see that you will be looking at things from a new perspective and taking a different approach okay now, it shows me that because of maybe a situation that has caused you to have to tweak these issues a bit, there's going to be a standstill, okay? You may have been wanting to move forward with these plans, and now all of a sudden something's come up where you say, hmm, that didn't work, this isn't working out, people aren't agreeing, um, it's just not happening the way it should, perhaps there's been a delay on things coming through to help this uh, this event um, occur and now you know I just need you need to know that there's going to be a bit of a stall a bit of a pause a bit of a standstill okay through all of this okay with you having to change plans and rethink your strategy um, know that you have the control over this know that you have the power over this know that you are capable and will efficiently and successfully be able to make these plans go forward once you have looked at things differently okay you've tweaked them and you're you're taking a different approach please know throughout all of this it's so important that you remain who you are stay true to yourself don't be allowing others to change you don't allow others to direct you on your path to accommodate them, okay? Changing to please them. Don't do that, okay? You are who you are, all right? And stay true to that. Crowning your week and in the middle of your first week, you have been given a water card and you have been given the six of water. And water cards are relationship cards, and often they can relate to being in uh, intimate and loving relationships, partnerships, married, marriage relationships, uh, you know, those types of intimate relationships. But sometimes they can have to do with friendship relationships, acquaintance relationships, people we work with relationships, family members relationships, okay? This card shows me that the situations in your life right now that have led you to where you are with these relationships these people around you you're sitting there now and you're thinking about it okay you're having memories um, about your past you're romanticizing about all those memories and those people that were in your life at that time you're thinking way back almost to your childhood uh, you know how your childhood was okay now I do see it's it you know often when we do that we stir up emotions that you know some of them are joyful and happy and others may be sad and hurtful but know that you are where you are right now in your past because of your past okay it's developed and determined who you are now 
but you have the ability to change anything around your life, okay? We can't allow any of the negative memories to overflow into our lives now. We have to live in the present moment and let it go. We can't change the past. It's history, okay? We can only live in this nano moment right now. We can't, we can try to make plans for tomorrow, but it doesn't mean that they're going to work out or we're going to be there, okay? So right now, what's important is when you are romanticizing about yourself and about your past and about those people that were in there in your childhood, think about where you are now today, okay? And how you are today. What is, is the person that you've become today? I do see some of you, others are going to be dealing with actual issues around children in your life. Some of you I see it may have to do with your job. You may be teachers, okay? You may be mentors. Um, you may be guiding, guiding children. Uh, you may be caring for children. You may be in the healthcare business, uh, you know, uh, profession where you are, you know, taking care of children. Perhaps you work on the child ward in a hospital or a healthcare facility. Others I see you are mentors with children that are troubled, okay? You're there to help them. Others, I see you're going to be having issues with friends' children. You've been asked to come and help with a situation with their kids because they look up to you for counsel. For others, I see you may be dealing with your own children. There's issues coming up. For some, I see it may have to do with health issues. For some, they're showing me addiction issues. For some of them, they're showing me you just sitting there with them on your lap in a book and realizing that life has got so busy, you've been neglecting and negligent in that department of sharing of yourself and your personal time with your child. So there will be different reasons for those others, okay? Everyone has a different reason for this card, the relevance of its meaning, that you will be dealing with situations and issues that have to do with children. And often when we think of our past, okay, and our childhood, and, you know, how our parents dealt with us, where did it lead us to where we are today as to how we are going to deal and how you are going to deal with those situations with these children. At the end of the first week of April, Gemini, you've been given an air card, and this is the Ace of Air. Now, air cards... Well, let's deal with the ace first, uno numero. It's the beginnings of all things in all suits. So aces are generally, you know, like the number one. It's, you know, we write things in steps, so it's the first thing you're going to do, okay? And it's also the beginning of new things happening. So I do see for some of you, there's going to be something coming into you um, that's going to bring information to do with ideas. And they refer to those ideas as brilliant ideas that are going to be popping up all around you to help you walk your path in the direction that you're going to. You're going to be seeing the truth in a situation, okay? So this information, is some, for some of you, this information is going to be coming in as a form of a letter, an email, or it may come in in the form of information being passed down to you by someone in person, okay? But it will be information to do with something truthful that's going on around you in your life right now, okay? Now, because it's the beginning, often beginnings of things can be challenging. They just don't pop up and they're perfect in every way. Often there's, you know, little things we have to overcome and deal with. So please know that when, even though it's brilliant ideas and inspirations coming in, this truthfulness that's coming in, you know, it may be a little challenging when you have to deal with it, okay? So there's not much more to say about the Ace of Air. It's all about information coming into some of you and you seeing the truth of the situation. You seeing the truth in it, okay? And know that, you know, at the end of the day, it'll, they refer to it as good information, brilliant information, and very inspirational information to you. Coming into your second week of April, you've been given another Air card, and this is the Five of Air. Now, usually air cards have to do with injustice that comes in or people that stir the pot up where we're faced with having to deal with making fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these people. It can also have to do with actual legal issues, the court system, lawyers and attorneys and 
people like that where some of you may be asked to go up, you've been subpoenaed to witness something. Some of you uh, may be asked to defend yourself on, and speak your truth on your platform. Some of you will be signing of contracts and partnerships when it comes to disbursement of uh, either uh, real estate, uh, you know, matrimonial uh, agreements and separation papers or divorce papers. Uh, or, you know, some of you it may even be a prenup signature because you both have to sign and agree to it. For others, I see it may be, um, you know, the disbursement uh, and partnerships and signatures and contracts for business. So please know that there is a choice that you're being faced with to make. And it shows two lines, okay? Two lines. You know, there's people on this side and people on this side. And both of you have to collaborate, okay? Cooperate and compromise with this situation. And you need to learn everything you can from this situation. And what that means is when this choice comes up that you have to make, whether, like, in those situations I just mentioned, in these signing of contracts and business and divorce and separations and agreements and whatever those situations are for you, for each individual that these apply to, that you need to review everyone's motives. Everyone that is involved in this collaborative effort of signing, of dealing with, okay? Make sure you review everybody's motives before you do that. Coming into the third week, Gemini, uh, of April 2018, you've been given an Earth card. And you, my friend, have been given the Knight of Earth. And earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives. Often it has to do with our jobs, careers, and uh, how we bring that currency into our lives. But it can also have to do <coughs> with issues to do with Mother Earth. If some of you are actually working in horticulture or in nature or to do with things like that. Um, <coughs> anything to do with that type of thing or our closest circle which is our families and our people we feel that are closely linked to us that we would think of as family. This tells me that uh, it has to do with more of a job related issue for most of you. Um, but for others I see it may have to do with the relationship part <coughs> in your family. Excuse me. I'm talking so much because these videos are, all, are mainly a half an hour long. So I'm pushing out quite a few in my day today <coughs> and I get dry. And it's also winter still here and we have the heat system on and it makes things really dry around me. So please uh, bide with me while I go get through this coughing with my water. So these things that are coming into you, okay, this night of earth talks about um, having to be more dedicated and having to be um, uh, and honor our commitments, okay, that we've made, okay, in the, in the past. And all the work that's coming into us, we may have, you know, you may have, uh, it shows me some of you have been ignoring it, saying, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it when I can, or putting it on the shelf or pushing it aside or, you know, putting it over somewhere in your computer and your data system and saying, okay, it's here. I know I have to do it, I'll do it when I have to, but <coughs> these things need to be done, okay? It's showing me that you can't procrastinate anymore about this, but you're going to get it done. Don't worry about it, because this is the card that shows me your guardian angel with their hand on your back, okay? Saying, okay, it's time to do it, but I'm here to help. So know that you just have to hold your head high, uh, you know, forge into it, <coughs> And know that you have the confidence and the energy to do this. Okay, so please know that you're being advised and directed with this card for you to go ahead with this. And know that you're going to get it done and you've got help. <coughs> Excuse me, it's almost like your guardian angel is making this job easy. Or your guardian angel is sending you someone who's going to say, hey, can I give you a hand with that? <coughs> can I organize it? Can I be of any help? Crowning your week in the middle of the third week, and I wish I could stop coughing. I may have to put a cough candy in my mouth, so pardon me while I do that. Um, and if I should sound funny, it's because I have this cough candy. So, <clears throat> the 
crowning your week in the middle of your week, you got a beautiful card. And this shows me the Ace of Water. And the Ace of Water, like I was telling you, and I've mentioned to you before about the Ace, it's the beginnings of things. It's, it's you know, it's wonderful. It's the beginning of all things that are coming in and all suit. But the Ace of Water is the ultimate card about relationships, okay? It's all about falling in love with someone. For some of you, I see you've met someone. And it's new and it's fresh and it's in the honeymoon stage. And you are actually getting so attached to this individual and you're bonding so well. And you have so much in common that you are now truly starting to fall for this individual. And you're feeling this beautiful, beautiful feeling of love and compassion for this individual. So this is obviously going to turn out to be a beautiful, beautiful relationship for you. Now for others of you that have been in a long-standing relationship, and, you know, you've had some issues and some hurdles and some bumps and some trials and tribulations that, you know, during this beautiful uh, relationship hasn't really been easy for some of you. Please know that it's going to be the resurgence of this relationship. And it has to do with compromise and it has to do with, you know, adapting and it has to do with uh, how you treat each other with compassion and love and respect. Okay. Uh, also trusting each other. Okay, getting rid of those um, those negative karmic energies that come in that can really destroy a relationship. Okay, and one of those things is trust, not trusting. Okay, so get to the bottom of that, but know that this relationship is going to improve and heal. Now, for some of you, I see it's almost going to be like spiritual growth, and uh, it's almost as though now you're relying more on your own intuition and your own, your own gut instincts when it comes to re this relationship in your life. You've learned now that you there's signs that you can see and watch and, and pull your strength from. This card also is for some of you that are moving on. I see some of you are going to be moving on to a new home. Uh, some of you will have to do with uh, leaving where you live now and perhaps going to another country, another continent. Uh, I see some of you, uh, it may have to do with your job being transferred. Uh, it may have to do with um, going to school and taking a course at university or college or somewhere where you are going to have to reside in that you know that jurisdiction so that you can do this so I do see that some of you are actually going to be going on to a new home okay so the end of the third week Gemini you've been given an air card and this is you've had a couple three air cards this is your fourth and this is the seven of air so again, we talked about legal issues and dealing with fair and just decisions and choices around us that we have to make when people come into our life that stir that up and cause those challenges. But this is telling me that some of you thought you could make some plans and you could move forward with them in your life and now all of a sudden a situation has cropped up where now you're going to have to revise those plans, tweak them a bit because um, there's more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye. So you're going to have to do your detective work you're going to have to dig deep and find out, okay, why did this happen? Everything was going smooth. I was supposed to do this. And all of a sudden now, this is cropped up, okay? So do your homework, okay? Because they talk about if you go ahead with these plans, you're kind of jumping into the quicksand. Now you've got to try to figure out how you're not going to sink, okay? And swim your way out. So it could be poor timing. So whatever this, these, um, these plans are that you're making, uh, please know some of you I see vacation plans, something's happened. Some of you I see it has to do with uh, an actual, you had an event coming up, uh, almost like a date you're going to go on. Some of you it has to do with, um, you know, putting something in your calendar, like as easy as getting your car repaired, and all of a sudden now you can't do it, okay? Uh, you know, and it's like, but I had this all planned, so um, there's reasons why these things happen. Is basically, you know, more going on behind the scenes. But please know that the universe sends us what we need at the time because there's reasons. And I call those blessings in disguise, okay? So please know, before you go through these plans, you need to find out the reason why, look into it, and don't jump in and say, well, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. Because it, it's referred to as poor timing. It isn't going to work out, okay? <clears throat> now, the last week of the month of April, Gemini, for the beginning of that fourth week, you've been given the moon. 
And this is a major card, okay? Uh, this has come up for others as well. <clears throat> but this is all about you knowing that you can tap into your own intuition and your own gut feelings. It's you now realizing that, you know, yes, your heart can lead you, but you, you're taking all that wisdom along with the bride, okay, on the path. So um, there are things going on. This card can also refer to secrets uh, behind your back that, or information that you haven't had divulged to you and put forth to you at this point you need to find out about, okay? For others, I see these, maybe you keeping secrets from others for, a, you know, it could be for a good reason. Maybe there's a surprise, uh, you know, gift, party, event that's uh, that you are involved in and you're trying to keep this little secret and along the way you're telling these little white lies to do it. But it's, uh, you know, this is what it refers to behind the scenes. There could be some events going on behind the scenes or secrets that are being kept from you or you are keeping from others. Now, this card refers to some of you allowing fear and worry to lead your mind, lead your day, lead your path. And we can't do that, okay? Because it holds you back. It puts up blockages. It closes doors in your face. It creates hurdles and, and walls. You can't allow that to happen. The moon comes out at the darkest time of our day, but it is the biggest brightest beacon of light you could imagine. I mean, we've all been there where we've been in the dark, been out in the field, been on a beach, and that moon comes up over that water and the whole area just illuminates. That's what this card is telling you. That's what your guides and angels are telling you. Do not allow fear or worry to lead your day or lead your life on your path. Think of yourself as that humongous beacon of white light. Because that's what this card is saying you are, okay? That's what these guides are saying you are. So please know, go with your own intuitive guidance, okay? Trust yourself and be speak your own truth, okay? Don't allow anything to hold you back in the form of fear or worry. You are that big, bright beacon of light. Now, crowning in the middle of the final week of April, Gemini, you've been given an Earth card, and this is the Ten of Earth. <clears throat> this is a great card because it talks about, uh, for some of you, you have a wonderful home life, your children, your family, your husbands, your, or just your home life in general. Perhaps some of you actually live alone, but you have support system of, you know, extended family around you. It's all very good. It shows a happy home life. Whether you have family living with you, husbands, spouses, whatever, or you are on your own, but you know that you're happy in your own solo space in your home. It also shows me that for some of you, you are financially comfortable. You have enough. Everything is being, uh, is being taken care of. Uh, all your commitments are being honored financially. It's a good place to be. This card has come up for others as well, and it's speaking to the universe and those that need to count the blessings, those that need to look at their life with gratitude, that we all have something to be grateful for, and that there are others out there who do not have what we have, okay? For whatever reason, we are blessed and gifted, and we need to always, always tap into that and realize that. <clears throat> but in the process, when we do that, we start to realize and think back, how did we get here and what brought us joy that never cost us money? What were those things that made us happy and laugh and joyful? And we, we, we enjoyed them so much and they were so simple. So it's it, the message coming through here from our guides and angels with this card is, yeah, everybody in the universe is aware of what you have and how life must be so joyful for you where you are, but it can even be better. Think of those times when it didn't cost money to do something that made you happy and joyful. And that's the message, tapping into the magic, the little things uh, that brought, you know, finding the magic and the little things in our lives that we can still incorporate in our lives today. It didn't have to just be then, it can be now. At the end of the week, you've been given a fire card. So here's the end of April, the end of the fourth week for you, Gemini. This is a fire card. Fire cards have to do with personal self-development uh, and how we go and get the things we have in our lives and, and on our life path. 
And sometimes that involves going places we normally wouldn't go and taking risks we normally wouldn't take. And this is all about a sudden event that's coming into some of you. This is the knight of fire who charges in on a steed and with great speed and all of a sudden there he is. And oh my gosh, we gotta deal with him and we gotta deal with this situation type of thing. And it needs immediate attention because time is of the essence. Now for some of you, I see you've been offered a job promotion or a position within your place of you know, your career choice and you didn't really see it coming or you thought it was coming, but all of a sudden it came faster than you realized. So time is of the essence. For others, I see that um, it's tax time or it's paying a bill time or it's um, a fine you've been given and, it, and now the calendar's rolled around and it's saying, uh oh, I better get doing that or, you know, get your license renewal or your health card renewal or your your passport I see being renewed. So time is running out, you have to do that. This is a cautionary card uh, to let you know that you need to do it. Time is of the essence, okay? Um, for others I see it's coming in the form of maybe a legal situation. Um, and you need to carefully review Okay, everything. Think things through thoroughly before you sign these papers. I see some of you, it may have to do with partnerships or finalization of something uh, that's coming in. They refer to it as an event, okay, uh, that needs your immediate attention. Time is of the essence, but carefully, carefully review uh, and think things through carefully prior to doing this and taking uh, this move with this event. So there's your month, my friend Gemini, of the tarot reading, uh, beginning, middle, and the end of each week, the four weeks of April. And in addition to that, I have chosen to use the Oracle deck, Answers from Our Angels, and this is the message they gave you. Gemini, don't stop. Okay? So if you're working on a situation in your life, an event, uh, or perhaps you have changed the way you are walking your path. Uh, perhaps you joined some sort of mentorship group in your life that is changing your thought patterns, changing how you're looking at things, uh, a decision that you've made. Uh, and so you're going to keep going with that decision. No, you're not going to allow others to change your mind. You know what's good for you and what you need to do. So don't stop. Don't stop this forward move that you're making or this situation you're in, uh, keep moving with it. The universe and divine source is sending you that message that you are doing what you need to do on your path with that card. Don't stop. I hope these messages were of some help to you for this month of April 2018, Gemini. And please know that I will see you again and I continue to hold space for you in the circle of light. I wish you a great remainder to today, this week, and to look forward to a beautiful, optimistic month of April 2018. See you soon.